When it comes to our homes, we're always looking at nifty tricks to save money. And the upcoming fall season is the perfect time to tackle those tasks. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky live with some DIY tips from Johnson College. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. Hanging out outside Johnson College this morning with the whole cast and crew. They're with us along with Colin. He's sort of the Swiss Army knife of instructors here, like the electrical director, HVAC, you name it. He's Carpentry. got it. So yeah. let's talk about, Colin, some of these DIY money-saving tips, including looking at appliances you might not be using day in and day out. Yeah, right off the bat, very easy one. If you have unused appliances in your house, they're still hogging down power. This desktop, for example, using about 20 watts, just sitting there idle. Uh, heaters that aren't being utilized. TVs that aren't being utilized. Very easy to unplug them, put that money back in your pocket. Yeah, so the bottom line is if you're not using them all the time, they could be sucking juice, Absolutely. jacking up your electric bill. Absolutely. Let's talk about light bulbs, things to make the switch for this fall and why. Yeah, everybody's heard of LEDs for a long time. They've recently come down in price a lot. Um, they use about a sixth of the power of a regular incandescent bulb. Nice thing about LEDs, the, number one, it's very long lasting. Number two, you can really choose the color in which you want. You can have brighter light in the kitchen, softer light in the living room or your bedroom. Very nice to choose. And we also want to sound the alarm on safety this morning over the next several weeks, maybe several months for some folks, they'll eventually be flipping their heaters on. Now a great time to check your smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah, it's the heating season, so you want to make sure your house is nice and safe. You want to make sure you replace your smoke and your smoke alarms every 10 years. You want to make sure you replace the batteries every year, uh, especially with carbon monoxide detectors. You want to make sure that they're near uh, anything that burns uh, natural gas, uh, coal, propane. You always want to make sure you have a CO2 detector near an ignitable uh, uh, source. And speaking of alarms, you also have some other examples we wanted to share with folks this morning. Water alarms. Where should we be putting these in their home and why are they important to have? Uh, nice thing, this is very inexpensive. It's a nice uh, tool to put behind, say, like a washing machine, water heater, under a sink. Anywhere that can develop water that could cause issues, this will sound as soon as moisture hits the ground. Uh, more expensive and a bit safer of an option. Uh, same principle, but this will actually shut off the water to your house given an emergency. So this can save you thousands of dollars of damage. A lot of great tips. By the way, if you have any other home improvement questions, things you want to tackle DIY, but you're like, where do I even start with that? Join the conversation. Coming up on Facebook Live at 7 a.m., the whole crew, including Colin, will be here with us this morning taking your questions live at 7 a.m. And by the way, while I'm here, I have to mention two little quick tidbits about Johnson College. This year, the highest enrollment this college has ever seen in its history in more than like a century. So that's pretty cold no cases of covid knock on wood the students are still coming here day in and day out and learning and as i mentioned this guy's the swiss army knife of instructors you actually have a band here with like the carpenters and the yeah people who run the yeah the all college unit. band yeah what do you guys call your band the all the old college try or i say you should call it the handy band the handy like band. handy man right no i like anybody? it i like anybody it. I don't know why, guys, all morning. I think I'm just so jacked. I'm doing the floss in between my hits today. I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> Ryan, you have unbeatable energy, that's for sure. And, and congratulations to Johnson College. It's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and lucky dance party as always. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, Milo, what's going on out there?